as we prepare for six-man tag team action in the APW garage. We are getting the arrival right now of Pink Mink Inc. Wrestling persona by Rick Luxury. Magnificent Matt Carlos, Marcus Mack. And here they come, the new worldwide internet champion, Double D, Dave Dutra, who won it recently at the Cauliflower Alley Club over Will Rude. Well, you know, Pink Mink Inc. holds all the gold in all pro wrestling, except for the Universal Heavyweight Championship, which will be on the line later on today. But with the worldwide internet title going back, With Dutra being successful over Rude at Cauliflower Alley, the worldwide internet title found its way into Pink Mint Gang. Now they hold the Unified Tag Team Championships, that being wrestling personified Rick Luxury and not Carlos. And then of course the internet champion, Double D Dave Dutra. The, the APW Vendetta Pro Unified Tag Team Championship Magnificent Matt Carlos and Rick Luxury. Rick Luxury, I've said it before, the man collects championship gold like most people collect baseball cards. And you just look at the look at the face of Marcus Mack. He looks like a like a happy camper, one big happy family. The man's a snake in the grass. And they're gonna have their work cut out for them against G Unit and t rent the Suburban Commandos, and they're teaming with the rookie sensation, Marcus Lewis. This APW boot camp graduate has been in a real tear. And he's coming out here with good company here in the garage. The, the former APW Vendetta Pro Unified Tag Team Champions, the Suburban Commandos, lost it recently to Magnificent Mar Matt Carlos and Rick Luxury. Listen to the incredible reaction for Marcus Lewis and the Suburban Commandos. Now the question's gotta be asked, why have they not got the title, the rematch, the clause that's in every contract. Why had they not done that? Well, you know, I, I had a chance to catch up with D-Unit and T-Ren before the show today. And unfortunately for them, when they won the Unified Tag Team Championships, they did not get that rematch clause put into their contracts. And therefore, they, they, they're not guaranteed a rematch having lost the tag team titles. But I tell you what, if they are successful today in six-man action, that's going to go a long way to making them the number one contender to the Unified Tag Team Championships. So absolutely a technicality. The only thing keeping these young men from trying to regain the coveted tag titles they so richly deserve. As we await six-man tag team action in the vaunted garage. The rookie sensation, Marcus Lewis, the, re the most recent APW boot camp graduate, has been absolutely phenomenal in, in the handful of matches that he has been, he has performed in. He's got an incredible heart, an incredible desire to succeed in this business. You know, it's been a long time since I saw the twins standing tall in an APW ring. It's been a long time since I've seen any of these competitors in the ring. I'm really excited to see what Marcus Lewis has to offer. You know, we were talking about him before we went on the air today. We were, I was asking you some questions about him. I'm really, really excited to see what he brings to the table in the six-man contest. Expect the unexpected. Sometimes you think he's gonna do one thing, he goes right for the opposite. He's, he's a very unorthodox young man, high flyer, a lot of heart. A lot of desire, well, and that's gonna, what separates the cream from the crop in I'll this you, business. I tell you what, he's going to have 
his work cut out for him because the commandos, I don't know if they were just throwing him to the wolves to just take care of business on their own, but they're letting him get started against wrestling personified Rick Luxury, a man who's held gold in every single company he's ever worked for. Rick Luxury with an arm drag and a cocky one at that. Wrestling personified. One of the greatest wrestling technicians in the history of Northern California, bar none. Oh, complaining about having his hair pulled from Marcus Lewis. You know, I remember when Rick used to complain about that all the time when I was refereeing, but at that time, Rick didn't have any hair. I, I'm surprised to see this ponytail. He used to change his hair color and style every other week. That kick a little low on the young rookie sensation. A headlock takeover and Rick Luxury holding him down. I'm sorry, Rick, Rick needs a haircut, I'm sorry. Luxury, using that side headlock to his advantage, using his body weight, pressing down on the young rookie. And, oh, he gets rolled over into a cradle of one count only. You're not gonna beat Rick Luxury like that. This guy lives and breathes wrestling. It's, Rick Luxury is a mat tactician. This man was a high school all-star in, in amateur wrestling. He knows his way around the mat. You do not want to go oh. hold for hold, chain for chain against Rick Luxury. Right there, Luxury went for a reversal. Lewis scouted it. Oh, and again, give it up to the young man, able to mat wrestle and chain with with one of the greatest chain wrestlers in the history of the business. Goes for the cover. Great find. Cradle the legs, had him pinned, but not for the three count. Lewis got him sized up. Beautiful drop kick on the button. And levels him with a clothesline. And that back elbow, a house of fire, is this young man, Marcus Lewis. Rick trying to find refuge with his tag team partners as he tags in Dave Dutra, the man who is a former worldwide internet champion having lost the, or excuse me, former, he's the current worldwide internet champion having won the title from Will Root at Cauliflower Alley Club. And double deep Dave Dutra to the outside right now. These two young men, their careers parallel each other. Well, Dave's saying he doesn't want to wrestle until there's another opponent in the ring, and that's exactly what he gets. And here we go. D unit in the ring right now with Double D, Dave Dutra. Dutra with a low kick, and now going right to work on the head. Irish rip reversal by D unit. Goes for the clothesline. Oh, and a high cross body, and he gets caught in midair. Oh, he's gonna get power slam. Oh, Dave Dutra drops to his feet. And a nice drop kick, unable to take down the big man, another. But he's got him weeble wobbling. But you know, weeble wobbles, they don't fall over. Oh, he gets flapjack right in the center of the ring. Oh, look at that. A huge bomb. Dutra retreating, following the big chest bounce from D Unit. Well, in comes Matt Carlos, a man who I used to know is out of control, Matt Carlos. Now he's but known as Magnificent. Oh, a Magnificent Matt gets leveled by a couple of clotheslines, courtesy of T-Rant. Beautiful back. back body drop by T-Rant. And he looked like he landed solidly on the back of his neck. And here comes a double team from the Suburban Commandos. Double chops into the forearms. Double, double hip toss across the ring. Did you see the height of Matt Carlos when they tossed him across the ring? His feet nearly touched the lights. The commandos in rare form tonight in the garage. Well, it looks like Pigment Gig is going to take this opportunity to regroup outside the ring. Marcus Mack barking out orders. Where are they going? Pigment Gig trying to regroup on the outside. They want no part of this incredible six man. Wait a minute. So, wait a second, the Commandos, the Commandos are using Marcus Lewis. Oh my God, never in my life. They just allowed Marcus Lewis to projectile his body into the winning arms of the Pink Mickey 
Incredible! Incredible! Lewis almost touched the top of the garage door. He almost hit the roof. I haven't seen anyone fly like that since Vicious Vic Crimes took a jump out of the crow's nest. And Matt Carlos being thrown back in. The damage has been done. That projectile, Lewis, oh! That knife edge chop. You could hear it bouncing off the walls that in the one, garage. That one even hurt DU in its hand. He had to shake the cobwebs out. And a tag, and here comes the behemoth T-Rant. Twin brothers drop down. Oh, into a weeding forearm. And here we go, the size alto on the side of his head. DU and T-Rant are on fire right now. He might have just broken him in half. And now drags him back over to attack to his waiting brother. Matt Carlos in a horrible position right now. Carlos in trouble, getting perched precariously up on that top rope. But in comes Rick Luxury. Oh, Luxury with a battering out. ram. His tag team partner just met him in a very bad way in the corner. Double chops to Luxury. Oh, what they set this? him up for the electric chair. Double D, Dave Dutra. Gets caught up. No, wait a second. Here comes Marcus Lewis off the top with a drop kick. Double electric chair. Double Absol electric chair with some boots, baby. Man, they put some stank on it inside of the APW garage, bringing you action like only APW can do. Luxury taking it to T Red. Vicious Forbes hits the ropes. Oh, and he just gets spine bustered. And the back of his head bounced off the canvas. Wait a minute. Here comes Marcus Lewis. Oh, man. Drops the elbow right across the chest of Rick Luxury. Oh, and Matt Carlos from behind with a forearm. The action has been hot and heavy. As he goes chest first in that turnbuckle. Oh, duck the close line. line. Lewis with a drop kick. Drop kick on Picture the Picture perfect. Button. Picture perfect. Just as beautiful as those trunks. He put a lot of air on that clothesline right now, and Lewis completely on fire. And a kick, oh, into the enziguri, and down goes Carlos. Remember, he had a lot of problems with concussions earlier this year. Cover, two, and a Carlos, two Carlos has had issues with concussions his entire career. His head has been used as a battering ram more times than I can count on my fingers, hands, and toes. And Matt Carl, excuse me, Lewis from the, the second rope, oh, into an inverted atomic drop. And Matt Carlos with an absolutely magnificent maneuver. Well, we're being joined in the broadcast booth by Shane Dynasty, a, but for now he's just overseeing the action. cover, and again, magnificent Matt Carlos using his legs to tie up Mar Marcus Lewis, and they are cutting off the ring right now. This crowd strongly behind Marcus Lewis. But you gotta wonder, with the, with the destruction he's taken right now at the hands of Pinkman King, what's he gonna have left of the tank as Dutra drops the leg? Dutra with a cover, great find, and a two, and again, Lewis kicks out. You've got to admire the heart, the tenacity of this young rookie, this sensation. A snap, Merritt beautifully puts that snap on it. Double D with the cover. He failed to creep by the leg, John, unable to get the pin. No one throws a beautiful snap suplex like Dave Dutra. That was picture perfect. I look, gotta give credit where it's due. Look and at those forearms, absolutely brilliant. right across the side of the jaw. And that, oh, and he just walks over the head of Marcus Lewis. That again is that incredible APW boot camp training like you get nowhere else. But you know, this is, this, that, that, I don't know. I, I might disagree with you. That boot to the side of the head while he walked over him, he's learning that from Pigment Cake. He's learning that from Rick Luxury. And wait a second, in the corner, double team. Dutra puts the prone body of Marcus Lewis. Oh, and he took him all the way up to the Luxury Suite. And a cover, two, here comes. Look at that. Marcus Lewis is in a lot of trouble. He needs to make a tag right now. The commando's the only thing that saved him. Look at that. Oh, man. The pub handle, he dropped him over the top of his head. Two, Marcus Lewis kicks out. How he did it, I'll never know. There is no technician quite like Rick Luxury, and he'll pull something out of the arsenal that I, you know, I've never seen him pull anything like that out before. Marcus Mack did it today. Marcus Mack on the outside, directing traffic, able to regroup. They've taken control, now trying to cut off the ring. And inside of the ring, these two blue chippers, Double D and Marcus Lewis. Lewis fighting back with those phenomenal kicks and forearms. 
Well, you know, there's been some professionalism between Dutra and Lewis, but but not anymore in this matchup. Dutra. Leapfrog, leapfrog. Oh, and a kick. And an insecurity. Dutra has got to be upset because no one made it through the boot camp. Well, there's a cover. No one made it through the boot camp as fast as Dave Dutra until Marcus Lewis came along. Absolutely. Marcus Lewis once again able to get that left shoulder up at the last possible moment. Incredible heart. And now right into the corner of Pink Meek Inc. Dangerous, dangerous territory. A tag, and here comes the predatory worldwide internet champion inside of the ring. Off the ropes comes Rick Luxury. The part of the elbow. Demolition style maneuver. And Marcus Lewis in a bad spot right now. And now here comes the tag to Luxury. And while that's going on, Commissioner, I got to ask you, with this action you're seeing, what, what, what do you have to say about what we're seeing in the ring right now? Well, I got to be honest with you. We're seeing some excellent tag team six-man action in this ring right now. All of these competitors have brought their A game. These guys have got their working boots on. And that's what I want to see here in APW. I want to see guys that have got all of the drive, all of the passion that it takes to be a champion in every single match, and these six men are showing that. Absolutely, don't mean to cut you off, Commissioner, but a moment ago, Marcus Lewis, with a last ditch effort, able to jump and propel himself over Double D, Dave Dutra, and Luxury, a tag, and here comes a commando. He finally made the tag he needed, D-Unit in. Oh, he goes for that Instagram, nobody home. D-Unit using the body of Magnificent Marcus, or excuse me, Magnificent Matt, Ow! Oh, all of Pink Big Inc. feels the effects of that thing. That looked like a modified Riz bomb. And here comes D-Unit with a double clothesline and Luxury and Dutra to the outside. Inside of the ring, Magnificent Matt Carlos does not look very magnificent right now. Luxury and Dutra outside just below us. Going up for a power bomb and Matt Carlos. Carlos trying to fight out of it. Pummeling the head, sunset flip. He's trying to get him over, the big 300 pounder. Oh, and there's no way. He pulls him right back up to a vertical base. Looks for the big clothesline, but no. The midliner, oh! Got him in the center, but wait a second. Carlos no, doesn't know where he's at. Here comes the, this Team brother. Team is in. Oh, right in the back of his head. His head bounced off the canvas. Dutra uh, with a vicious boot. Into a DDT. The double DT from Dutra. And Double D doing too much celebrating. Here comes Marcus Lewis with the rocker dropper right to the back of the head. And wait a second, that shark wrestling persona by Rick Luxury comes right in to pick up the pieces. Double underhook, oh, he just dropped him right to the top of his head. The Luxury recliner, it probably knocked out every single tooth Marcus Lewis has in his mouth. That might have just shortened that young man's career. And there are bodies all over the place. I've seen well, car accidents in last. Chasing Marcus Rick Luxury! Back. Oh, suicide time! He literally shot his body outside of the ropes into the winning arms of the Suburban Commando. Now looks like Dutra's setting him up. D oh, Dutra gets caught. Telegraphed it just a little bit. D-Unit able to cut him off at the pass. And on the Marcus outside, Lewis. in the war zone. Incredible rolling action. Here comes the rookie sensation. Up and over with the somersault plancha. Over the top rope into the war zone. Marcus Lewis has that much more than any other man. He is just literally, he doesn't care. He's willing to do what it takes. Everything is broken down here. I, I gotta wonder who the legal men are. I believe it's Matt Carlos and D-Unit. And magnificent Matt Carlos with an Asahi Moose. No, he gets caught by D-Unit. And he caught him with the a ring. cutter. Caught One, him with a cutter. Two, and he hit it. Ball game. That's it, the Commandos, the Commandos, and Marcus Lewis win this incredible six man. It's got to be said, the competition absolutely being ramped up since your emergence on the scene here at All Pro Wrestling, Shane Dynasty. But, but you know, Shane, i got to ask you a question. With this match we've just seen, the Commandos seem like they've made a good, good argument to be the number one contenders for the Unified Tag Team titles. I'm not going to argue with you there, John. They definitely have proven that they deserve another shot to regain those belts. Tonight, the titles weren't on the line. Dave Dutra's internet title was also not on the line. 
But these two men out there, they showed the heart, they showed the determination, they showed the effort that I want to see out of competitors in the dynasty era of all pro wrestling. But what about the effort of Marcus Lewis, the blue chipper? He put on a hell of a fight in that ring. I got to tell you, going into this match, I personally believe Marcus Lewis was the weak link in the chain. But he proved here tonight that he's got what it takes to compete with the big dogs in APW. And it's got to be said, Commissioner Shane Dynasty, the APW faithful, they are solidly behind your regime. Since you're taking over all pro wrestling's authoritative duties, they seem to be happier than ever before. The, the showmanship you said you'd bring, you've absolutely done that. Not to blow smoke up your butt, boss, but I'm, I'm just saying. Well, you know, uh, JJ, I appreciate it, but the truth of the matter is I made a vow, I made a promise to the fans of all pro wrestling that I was going to return this historic, glorious promotion to the glory days it once had. And if I do say so myself, and I am a very humble man so far, I've lived up to my reputation. Well, this was an incredible six-man tag action. We've got much more here at All Pro Wrestling.